Hi, welcome back to Pontypool Golf Club. My name's Leon Warren, PGA professional. We're in the Indoor Golf Academy today, in the nice and warm. And I thought a good discussion today, going into the golf swing, is this phrase I hear quite often through amateur golfers about keeping the head down. Um, you might be having a bit of a bad time on the golf course and good friends of yours will be saying, you're mishitting the golf ball, you need to keep your head down. It looks like you're lifting your head up. For me, bad thing to say, it's not a great thing to put across to somebody and I mean well, but it's the completely the wrong thing. You'll never see this wording in a golf instruction book uh, or through a golf coach, he'll never say or she say keep your head down. The most important thing is, is to move well. Yes, we focus on striking a golf ball. We look at what we're hitting, most important that. But what we don't do is keep our head down all the way through that shot because it's gonna limit you to how you move and how your body should move in the golf swing. So today it's really an explanation of how a head should operate and how we should move through the golf ball. I want you to get rid of this analogy about keeping your head down or when you miss hit a golf ball, do not blame it on your head lifting. It's never the case. So it'll be a bit of a transformation for you today. You should see the body moving far better, it'll feel better, you'll gain some yardage and you should see some real good results out of what we're gonna do. So first thing I'm gonna show you is this head down bit where golfers really get into this transfixed position and it really is a, a poor shot because you can't really create any momentum whatsoever. So you tend to find amateur golfers who get very nervous about striking the ball. We'll keep this head down. It creates poor posture because you normally get your head on your chest looking down and you'll end up hitting the golf ball, staying down. And again, you see my hips, my body, not really able to move very effectively, get really sort of tight, tense. It feels uncomfortable, it's pressure on my spine and it limits me to my follow through. So you start to struggle with striking, you start to struggle with distance. I'll explain that when you're hitting the shot. So again, golfers get into a poor posture position, their head down on their chest, and they'll stay in this position all the way through the golf ball. Strike didn't feel amazing. I managed to get the ball away, but it's limited how far I can hit that. And it looks uncomfortable. And you'll never see any of the best players when they're on the television playing. You'll never see them in that position. You'll always see them striking and moving forward, facing their target. So what I'd like you to do today is to really chuck that analogy out the window. And we're gonna give you a nice simple drill, nothing too complicated, to go away and practice on the range or in the back garden, or even in front of a mirror. Mirror is a great way of, do, of learning how to move and use that as a way of trying to get yourself moving far, far better. Now how we go about this, I tend to say to golfers when I'm teaching them here is just to focus on what you're hitting, which is the golf ball. Yes, we look at that when we strike. I'm still looking at that golf ball as I hit the golf ball, bang. I want you to imagine once you've hit it, that's a gun going off, the noise of a bang. And when that bang goes, that's your initiation to want to go and move. Don't want you to get stuck over that golf ball or where the golf ball was. So we're gonna go through that in our head when we're hitting shots getting some practice doing that, and let it start to feel more and more comfortable. It should feel naturally good. Your body will flow far better, you'll generate some club head speed, and you'll see some really good results. But if you start mishitting the golf ball, don't let that stop you. Keep going, keep practicing, you'll find you'll get some good timing eventually. But don't go back into this transfixed head down position. It will really limit you to what you can do. So, good posture by getting my head up off my chest. Don't want it down on the chest head up looking down my face. Now I'm in a nice positive position, I can move freely. Now I'm just gonna focus on hitting the ball. As soon as I hit the ball, that's the gun going off, bang. I'm gonna move, that's my initiation to move. And you can see in my body position now, as soon as I hit that ball, my chest, my head came up. I focused on really trying to get my hips, my body facing the target and I'm nicely balanced. All my weight's on my left side, nothing sort of stuck on the ground. I call this the super glue position where the feet are glued in the ground because your head stays down for too long. And like I said, it really creates some poor body positions, creates some pain in the spine as well. So next time you're playing or practicing, give this a go. It's a nice simple drill, it's not complicated. I'll do it once more for you. So head off the chest, creates good posture. And I'm gonna focus as soon as I hit that golf ball, bang, that's the gun going off. That's for me to go forward and get my head up facing the target. Head up facing my target, nicely balanced. 
and I've gone forward, feel really, really comfortable and I'm gaining yardage all the time. So give that a go. You'll see some nice transformations in your game. Hope you've enjoyed the session. More to follow. If you'd like to subscribe to our page, please do. Leon Warren, PGA Professional, and give us a thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you next time. Enjoy your golf.